What I would say to my old self, knowing what I know now, is it's okay. You don't have to work. You are perfect and whole just the way that you are. Everything is okay. I was lost in a storm of fear, worries, and insecurity. I found peace inside and the road to self-love through brain education. Hi, my name is Danielle Gaudette. I'm originally from Boston, Massachusetts, but I have been living here in the Seattle area of Washington State for the last eight years. Brain education really changed me in very profound ways. It's amazing to even look back and think of myself before I started the practice of brain education. At that time, I was in a state, in a storm really, of very intense emotion. I was suffering with high levels of anxiety, extreme fear. I had extremely fearful thoughts and worries that consumed me. And it was a very delicate time of my life because one year prior, I had just made reunion with my biological mother who gave me up for adoption when I was 10 days old. And I searched for her and very soon after my search I found her and it opened many doors but my emotions were so fragile it was very overwhelming I was extremely sensitive and it was a very overwhelming time of my life so my thoughts my emotions worries fears anxieties were just consuming me at the time that I found brain education and in a really short time I, I desperately needed peace. I was searching for the way and I thought I need something that will help my kind of inner world. I need to quiet myself and learn how to find some peace inside. So I discovered brain education through a body and brain center that I found in Boston, not far from where I was living at the time. And in a very short time, with just a little bit of consistent practice, I really felt the cloud of that intense fear and kind of a hopelessness, really, I felt that cloud lifting. And there was a profound shift of me experiencing peace for the first time, maybe ever. There was this huge kind of window of peace that opened up for me and I started to learn tools how to be more healthy and to love myself more. I was so profoundly impacted by it that I, I decided to write a book. Um, here's, here's my book just to show you. It's called The Healing Tree, an adoptee story about hurting, healing, and letting the light shine through. So really what happened is I got so much benefit out of the practice. I became a teacher and a trainer myself. And then about 20 years later, which is pretty much now, I felt that I really wanted to write this whole story in a book from my perspective as an adoptee about how I changed and healed through the practice of brain education. I explain it all in my book. You can learn more by going to my website, daniellegaudette.com. You can read about my book or my blog there where I talk a lot about the principles and practices and messages that I really want to share. There are messages of healing and hope that I really want to provide for others the way that I was able to discover them, the way that I was helped by them. I hope to give other people that opportunity as well. My favorite exercise from brain education has to be the first exercise that I felt had a huge shift for me energetically, which was the exercise of Qigong, the energy meditation. Qigong meaning stopping your thoughts and emotions we would put our hands like this at the end of each class and move them in and out, feeling, sensing the energy field between our palms. And I found that just through doing that, I started, you know, once or twice a week going to class and then three times and then four times. And then I was doing it every day. This simple exercise for about five minutes in each class was really lifting a dark cloud from me. I felt for the first time 
waking up, feeling positive, feeling happy, feeling hopeful. I found that being able to quiet my brain waves during that exercise really shifted my mood and got me on the right track to changing my unhealthy relationship with my emotions. So I started to learn how to manage them starting with this Qigong. What I would say to my old self, knowing what I know now is, it's okay. You don't have to worry. You are perfect and whole just the way that you are. All you need to do is go on the journey to love yourself just the way that you are prove of yourself, embrace all of yourself. Everything is okay. I was lost in a storm of fear, worries, and insecurity. I found peace inside and the road to self-love through brain education.